You know that the more you fixate on something, the more you magnify the absence of that thing in your life. You know that, don't you? So then why do so many of us get so fixated on our manifestation? Why do so many of us get so fixated that we become obsessive about our dreams, obsessive about what we want to manifest? So obsessive that we have to take charge and we have to manage all of the moving pieces so we feel like we're in control. It's time to stop obsessing over your manifestation. And it's time to slide on into your promised land like a well-oiled machine. Well-oiled, greasy gears where there is no resistance. Today is all about that because while you are obsessing, you're just doing one thing. And that one thing is keeping your manifestation from appearing in your life today. You're about to find out all about it and we're starting right now. So come on, let's kick on into it. Hello folks, welcome to Elevate for a New Day. I'm Ben and I love spending this time with you every day. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you for your company. I'm so glad that you found the channel. Leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. I respond to every person. And please do make sure that you're subscribed to the channel if this sort of stuff floats your boat because I'm here every day talking about living intentionally, manifesting your dreams and how to get to what result you want to get to. And there's a process. There's no doubt about it, there is a process. But that process is so mystical that so many people, they just fall off the path. They fall off the path and they say, well, I once had a dream, but I'm not anymore. And we forget how to dream and then we get bogged down in the white noise of life and we become so upset with who said what to who about what and what's going on in their life. And all of a sudden, that dream that once kept burning in our heart is now nothing more than a steaming pile of coal. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here to experience the fullness of the dream that is inside of your heart. That is your purpose. That is your destiny. There is greatness on the inside of you and you can manifest it. You can live in the fullness of that. It is your birthright to do so, but you've got to stop obsessing over your dream. It doesn't matter what that dream is. You see this all the time in relationships. When, there's some, when someone has a keen interest in somebody, they obsess over them. They put them up on a pedestal, and by doing that, it does one thing. It creates more of a divide. It's the same way with any dream that resides in your heart. When you obsess over that thing, you elevate it and escalate it and raise it up and put it on a pedestal, and you separate yourself from it even more. And as you worship it and you magnify that thing and you keep obsessing, when's it going to happen? Is it ever going to happen? Did I do this technique right? What else can I do? I'm not sure I'm doing it right. And we try and speed up the hand of the universe through all these external things, and we obsess over that manifestation. And I get it. I, I get it, believe me, because the manifestation matters. That dream, it's so big, it's so beautiful, it's so all-consuming that it really matters. So I get it why we obsess over it. But I'm here to show you a better way. I'm here to help illuminate a path, light a corner in a dark place, and show you that you can move forward with a new understanding. You don't have to obsess over that thing. What you have to do, you just have to stay in flow. You just have to stay in flow because while you are obsessing, what you are doing is magnifying lack. While you are obsessing over something, what you are doing is magnifying the distance between you and it. That's all you're doing. And when you magnify that distance, that distance gets magnified. Whatever you focus on, it expands and gets bigger, no matter what that is. So if you focus on the gap that's between you and your dream realized, what you are doing is expanding that gap. We live in a universe that is for expansion and never contracting. And the way the universe expands is through conscious observation. This is the grassroots of quantum physics. Quantum physics, as a foundational level, says the universe only exists because there is some divine consciousness that is able to observe it first. Matter is physically changed by the act of observation. And it doesn't matter where that matter is. You can have two particles of energy that are in a quantum entanglement and they can be at different polar opposite ends of the earth. 
The minute one of those particles of energy is observed, it has an immediate effect on the other that is quicker than space and time. You can see all of this in research and science papers that have been printed over the last couple of decades. Quantum mechanics is fascinating, but let's not jump down that rabbit hole. Because I tell you all of that to tell you this. We live in a universe that is participatory. You get to participate in your own unfolding. You get to participate in making your dreams come true. But the universe is always for expansion, never for contraction. And the way things get expanded in our universe is by the act of conscious observation. So anything that you observe, you begin to expand. If you begin to observe a scratch on your forehead, now you know this is true, if you get a little itch, and it comes into your conscious awareness. If you choose to observe that, but not allow yourself to scratch it, it expands and it expands to get to the point where you feel like you, just, you have to scratch it or I'm gonna go nuts. That's not because the itch needs scratching. It's because you have placed your attention onto the itch. Where you place your attention is the same place that you direct the flow of energy in your life. Where you place your energy, you begin expanding because that's where your attention is. So, when you look at your manifestation and you say that dream is not with me yet and you fixate on it and you obsess over it, what you are actually expanding is the lack and the divide that currently exists between you and that thing. So how do you bridge the gap? How do you stop expanding that? You just choose to expand what will actually work. What will bridge the gap? There's one thing. The one thing that will bridge the gap is faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of that which has yet to be seen. If there is something in your life that is yet to be seen, faith is the substance of that. Faith is the tangible thing that you can access right now for the thing that can't be seen just yet. So if you access your faith and you begin to pay attention to your faith, and you begin to become unwavering in that faith, and you become, begin to become dedicated to that faith, and you're sold out to your faith and belief that you're moving forward, that faith begins to expand. And as it expands, you come up higher. And as you come up higher, you learn new things and you learn new ways, and now the journey is happening again. Now we're no longer stuck spinning our wheels. Now we're actually moving forward. We're getting traction, we're getting somewhere. It's faith that moves mountains. You know, every single one of us has been given the measure of faith. You know, that's a scripture. To each of us has been given the measure of faith. And the wording is so interesting there. Because the verse actually says, we have been given the measure of faith, not a measure of faith, but the measure of faith. If it was a measure of faith, it's a random amount. But if you are given the measure of faith, it means there was a quantity required that was known of in advance, that was anticipated and installed in advance. It's like if you're building a new computer and you know you've got to run some heavy duty software, you know in advance you're going to need to put a big hard drive in that thing. When you were created, when you were fearfully and wonderfully made, there was a promise that was put on the inside of you. And that promise, it requires a certain amount of faith to get from where you are to where the promise exists. That faith was built into the infrastructure and the architecture of your unique personality while you were conceived. Before you were even born into the world, the exact portion that you require to reach your promised land was already installed inside of you. You can access that, you do that through choice. You don't need a password like a computer program. You don't need a string of data. You don't need to know binary code. All you need is a choice. If you choose life, if you choose faith, you will move forward. Choose life that you might live. Folks, your dream is worth it. Stop obsessing over the manifestation. Don't worry about it. It will happen organically as you make your way through life seasons. As you focus on being the best version of you. As you focus on moving forward with intention. Paying attention to the things you want to expand. Your dream will come to meet you. Folks, I love you with all of my heart. I hope this blessed you. I hope it encouraged you. Let me know if it did. Reach out. Send me a comment. Share the video with someone. 
Check these two out if you really want to take some great strides forward, but make sure you come and visit with me tomorrow. I cannot wait to see with you and share with you then. Bless you.